A French geologist decided to live underground for several months, and yes, he did go a little bit insane. It's also probably the reason why you know about the term biological clock. Yes, that's Michael Cifre. And in the 60s, he wanted to try studying a glacier and decided he was going to go underground. He spent two months, a time period of which he picked arbitrarily, in a cave completely by himself with no contact with the outside world. Many people have tried this experiment since, and it seems that we actually require sunlight in order to, you know, remain borderline sane. One of the things that he noticed is that you don't sleep normally when you're not exposed to sunlight. People would sometimes stay awake for days, as long as 36 hours without feeling tired, and then they would also sleep for long periods of time. One guy took a 32-hour nap, and the people who were monitoring him were not entirely sure if he was alive or not. He absolutely was. It seems that without sunlight, people would sleep for almost random periods of time. The most common shift was to a 25-hour day, with periods of sleep as long as 12 hours. This research sparked the idea of the biological clock, that you're supposed to sleep for a good period of time, the same period of time every day, and you need sunlight in order to regulate that. This is because when you are exposed to sunlight and then you experience darkness, your brain makes melatonin. That's a chemical that should put you to sleep, and it doesn't really work effectively unless you're exposed to ultraviolet light. If you're also not exposed to sunlight, you'll probably end up with something like rickets or osteoporosis. Yes, you do perform photosynthesis of vitamin D, which is required for calcium to be incorporated into your bones. This research was funded in part by NASA. They were interested to see what spending long periods of time without daylight would do to the human body and mind. It is worth to note that not speaking to people for long periods also makes you get a little bit loopy. Michael himself said that his mind felt like a disjointed marionette, and he couldn't properly communicate with people after spending that much time alone. One of the really interesting things about this is the idea that we are not naturally regulated. We're not born with a internal clock. Some people like to take this research and take it so far to say it's very clear that we did not evolve on Earth. No, there is no evidence for that whatsoever. What this really means is that we're regulated by our environment, by the sun going up and down, and people also get pretty weird in the solstice. In places on Earth where they have a month of darkness or a month of light, people do have sleep disturbances, and that can impact your mind. We being humans have found ways to overcome this. You can have happy lights. I, in fact, replaced all the lights in my house with full-spectrum lights. It's still not enough sunlight. You should go outside for 15 minutes at a time. Even though I don't do well in the heat, I will do so begrudgingly. It will, however, be interesting to see what kinds of mental illnesses and long-term effects we have now that we are spending more time inside and in front of a screen, because it's only really been like this for 10 years. You can now have everything you want just through your screen. You don't even have to leave the house. You can have food ordered to you. We've already seen upticks in conditions like osteoporosis and yes, rickets too, that's when the bones in your limbs bend because you don't have enough calcium. That is calcium and vitamin D. You actually need both. Just go outside and get some sunlight, okay? <laughs>